is going on guys my name is Ram back again from Ram reviews here with a reaction to my one a, a series that I'm really looking forward to I believe it's coming out next season uh next season is gonna be pretty damn stacked if I must so say, say so myself uh but this is gonna be of Kaguya Sama Love is War this is the anime preview I'm going to have sound it's gonna be really low um, don't know how low I have it at ten. I have it at exactly ten percent sound volume on my actual OBS. So hopefully it's not too loud, and hopefully I don't get hit with a copyright strike. So I'm ready to jump into this really quickly. Um, but yeah, Kaguya Sama Love Is War. This is an anime uh, adaptation of one of my favorite mangas. In fact, uh, I'm catching up with it right now. I had, I had taken a break from it uh, because it had gotten taken down from uh, the manga site that I read 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 it from. And now I'm catching up with it on another site. And I am... This is one of my favorite mangas. It's basically like a Death Note with a romantic comedy twist in Take Out the Death where everything is so in, the, in their heads where like the entire battle of getting the other main character's affection is a battle throughout the heads. Kind of like how L and Light were always battling in their heads. That was the, where most of the action was, was them out trying to outwit each other. It's the same thing, except... They're trying to make the other person confess to the other one because if you confess, that is just shown. That is a sign of not of the opposite of of dominance. You, and they want to be the dominant figure, but if you confess, you're not the dominant one. In fact, so basically, they're like, who can knock the other off their high horse by making them by making the other confess first? And that, that's basically the premise of the show. And I'm thoroughly looking forward to this. So, guys, um. Hopefully you guys will be watching this as well. But yeah, let's get into this. So guys, without further ado, let us jump into this. No countdown. Oh, that's actually a little loud. Hold on. I have no idea what they're saying. But I haven't... I've, I've just seen some screenshots of the actual thing. Oh, let me turn on just a little bit low. But no, no, I... I Yeah, they don't have guns or knives. I mean, they, there is knives though for comedic effects, but that's for other things. Oh man, there's so many. Uh, Shinomiya. Oh, it's weird hearing their voices. Okay, I can see that. Ah, yeah, what? Hayasaki. Oh, Hayasaka, sorry. Oh, did you see that? They had the... How cute. They had the how cute... Oh, man, I can't wait to see that animated. <laughs> the only problem I have with this is... Oh, my gosh, what's the name of him? Um, Ishigami. Ishigami's voice. I, I want him to sound more depressed. But, I mean, later on... Yeah, hold on. Okay, th th this is something else. Oh, this is the Promise Everland. Something I'll probably be watching eventually because uh, one of my old one of my old followers uh, had told me to k read the uh, light novel. But yeah, um, honestly, my first thoughts. It's weird because I always have my own voice in my head when I was reading the manga. And Shinomiya is about as much as I would expect. Um. Shirogani, the class president, or the, the, the student council president, wasn't exactly how I pictured it, but I'm fine with it. Like I said, the only one I have a problem with is Ishigami. Um, and, oh my gosh, the girl with the ribbon in her hair, I totally am for just don't drawing a complete blank on her name, but her voice actress that kind of nailed it had how I thought of it. And then Hayasaka, I wanted to be that cool beauty because that's kind of how she is. Although there is moments where she has to break that character um, for acting purposes and things going on. So I'm thoroughly looking forward to this. It's going to be my version of Boarding School Juliet, which I'm going to be reacting to right immediately right after this. Um, where it's the romantic comedy, but this one has a bit of a twist to it. And later on in the manga it's actually getting really good in the manga um because they are like oh at first they're like oh i don't want them i don't want i don't care if he likes me and they're like oh now when i wouldn't mind going out with him or her 
if she would if she or he were to confess first and it's it's actually literally enjoyable the one thing that i'm going to say is probably going to nail it for this is going to be the facial expressions in fact me and another uh, anime reactor lar games uh are following this series really well and i have been reading the manga since it came out in chapter two there was only two chapters and i had talked about it with when i had first got promoted to my new position well to my new job position um i was talking to my assistant manager at the time about it and i got him into it and then now i'm the assistant manager <laughs> later on so it just we i've been following this store this show or th this manga um the series for over two years and it blows my mind that it's finally getting an anime adaptation and i had said that this was going to be one of the most popular uh, among us at the time it was it was so far out in terms of popularity, no one was touching it. It had a weird art style, and it just no one was touching it. And I was like, "This is going to be a sleeper." And sure enough, it became one of the most popular mangas. And then I, w I even called it and that once it was starting to get really popular. I was I was going to call it, and it was going to get an anime adaptation. And then, like lo and behold, six months later, after I made that prediction, or six or so months, whatever, uh, it got an anime adaptation uh, announced. That one, Born in School Juliet, you you saw no Unison or Unison in the Haunted Haunt Springs. And all these things were getting up, to, uh, uh, getting anime adaptations. I was really happy for. I didn't ever get to finish uh, uh, Yuragi no Yunasan, but I'm still following up in the manga. And I've been getting to the trick where I'm like, I know exactly how this could work in an anime adaptation, and it's been hit. I've, I I I predicted with Yuragi no Yunasan. In fact, I said Yuragi no Yunasan was going to get a uh, anime adaptation before any of them, and I was right. Next thing, I actually thought that this show would actually get an anime adaptation before Born School Juliet, but I, th I knew Born School Juliet was eventually going to get one uh, because it was getting popular, and that was another show that uh, another series that I've been following when it was really early on, and yeah, so. I'm looking forward to it. I'm go this is one of the shows I'm going to be reacting to. I'm going to be reacting to Kakegurui uh, Season 2 as well. Waiting for the PV to drop. I don't know if the PV has actually dropped. Um, and I will look for that later. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, and thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Hopefully, if you're watching this, that means my video wasn't taken down. Uh, I am watching this on Daily Motion, So that probably means I might get taken down. But who knows, maybe, if I block this all out like normal. Well, have it, you know opacity lowered but yeah and all that just hopefully i can get through anyways guys let me know what you guys let me know in the comment section if you guys are looking forward to this um but yeah i'm i myself would highly recommend people want to check this out like i said death note style of mind games with a romantic comedy twist and and hierarchy system that's how i'm gonna say it very very fun show to watch a uh, very fun series to read and now I'm going to be able to watch it, and it's going to be, I think, great. And I'm and I'm curious to see if this is going to get a English dub, because I feel like if it does really well in something, I might show my roommates, because my roommates only watch English dub shows, which is perfectly fine. I can do both. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in my Boarding School Juliet Episode 8 reaction. I believe it's Episode 8. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit sick, been drinking, so... Add that together. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.